Welcome back to Zachus. I'm so glad you joined me for another video. Today is all about the brand new Nest thermostat just launched for 2020. It's been about three years since they came out with a new thermostat. This is going to replace the Nest thermostat E and I'm going to dive into all the details about this new thermostat. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to compare it with the, the other Nest thermostats. And I'm also gonna do an install for you so you get everything in one video. Here we go. Two of my biggest videos on this channel have been all about Nest thermostats and installs. And all of my biggest videos with the most views and stuff have always been about installs. All the Nest products I install, the cameras, the doorbells, the door locks, and of course, the thermostats. And finally, after about a little over three years, Nest has come out with a new version of their thermostat, and it is a complete, well, almost complete departure from any of their other Nest thermostats. Now, you have the current one that's kind of the premium one. It's about $300, $250 sometimes, um, but it's, it's kind of pricier. It's really nice looking. It's got a really nice color display, and it's still their top of the line. And it's been out for, five, six years now, and it's it's really easy to use. It's just really a solid, smart thermostat. And then, about three years ago, they came out with the thermostat, Nest Thermostat E. I don't know what E stood for, but um, it was more uh, cost-effective. It had the same functionality, but it didn't have the fancy uh, digital screen. Uh, it didn't have the silver metal and the quality of products. It was a cheaper product, but still worked just like a Nest thermostat. And I've had both, as you can see on the channel, I've had both in, in several different houses and I bought them for family members and installed them, of course. But I was so excited to finally see them kind of upgrading. This is definitely gonna replace the E version. It's on the cheaper scale. It's about 130 right now, 129 depending on where you, where you shop. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I'll of course, always put all the links right down, right below this video. It says description. You can see all the links. Also note right below this video and below all my thermostat videos are links to the color wires, what they mean, what they go to, because everyone's setup is a little different. Now, if you have a really nice house and it's got a lot of stuff, you definitely want to get the bigger thermostat. Not bigger in size, but the nicer one. It's got a lot more functionality. It's got a lot more hookups. It'll handle like air pumps and all that kind of stuff. That link to that video will be down in the description below as well as a link to check it out on Amazon. This is definitely more of the lower end, um, lower end, but still a, a still premium looking and premium feeling compared to the E that was the lower end before. I haven't verified this but i think they're deprecating the e in replacement of this so this is going to be a new hot item coming into late 2020 and it should be with us for a little while now here's the big difference if you're a nest thermostat user you're used to the, the turn you turn the dial click it push the whole thing in to select your thing where this one is changing up it's a solid state and it just has a little ring on the side that allows you to adjust the temperature or control the settings. It's very slick, very minimalistic, and the mirror uh, look on the front really just gives it an extra taste of class. And then they did an even better job. They brought the colors of, the E had the colors of like blue and E, but they were very muted. And it just, it overall looked, you know, cheaper. This really looks classy. The blue and the orange for the heat really looks sharp and classy. But you're also not getting that, you know, stainless steel. You're not getting all the options. You're not getting all the wiring options in the background. So you've got to just weigh that out. And I'm going to do a comparison video. So be sure and subscribe to the channel. You'll be first to be notified when that video goes live. And I just wanted to kind of dive into the little bit of differences before I install it. And of course, this one has the, the battery backup, which none of the other Nests do. So now if your power goes off, there is a battery there to keep all your settings and keep your uh, thermostat going temporarily, you know, until the power comes back on. So that's kind of a cool new feature and it comes installed with the batteries. And so that's, that's pretty nice. It's a much more minimalistic approach. Um, as you can see, compared to my other Nest videos, the box is super little. 
There's nothing extra in it. Even the, the, the plate that can go behind it is not an extra purchase. Um, all the other Nest thermostats, the other two numbers, Nest thermostats came in a bigger box that came with uh, a back plate that came with um, screwdrivers and extra screws and all this, all this extra stuff. It was a really nice setup. So I think to save cost and to just come down to more of a simpler product, they're coming up with this like littler box and it's just super, super simple. And if you need the back plate, it's like $15. And most people don't, so why ship it with it and charge me the cost when I don't need it? So let's get in to the install. I'm gonna walk you guys through everything that you'll need to do to install your new Nest thermostat. Now there's different colors too. I am putting this in my bedroom to replace my E. So I my bedrooms are uh, mostly dark grays and blacks. Uh, my Alexa, my Google Home, all of that stuff is really like black or dark gray or kind of, you know, more of a manly look. And so for, for the, this new nest, I chose the charcoal. But they have white, they have some lighter pastel colors. It just really depends on your m mode, your, your design in your house and what's going to look best for you and where you're going to put it. Um, it works the same. In fact, they've upgraded the app uh, scheduling and everything it looks really really slick it's a lot easier to use in your google home app or in your nest app i'm going to show you all of that of course so let's get to how to install this thing i know you guys want me to shut up and stop talking because you're trying to install it here we go let's do this always when you're installing a thermostat no matter what thermostat you're swapping you're out if you're if you're swapping this out for the nest Thermost, another old, an older Nest thermostat or a Honeywell or um, a Zigsby or just any kind of thermostat. You always want to pull it off so you can see the wires and you want to take a picture. This is crucial because if you're not living in a brand new home and even if you are, some builders and uh, certainly older homes did not follow all the standards. A yellow wire might actually be white. A blue wire might actually be white. You know, they, they, I've seen it all different ways. So you just really want to take a picture because that picture is going to tell you what the, each wire is going to and the color of it. Now, if they're all the same color, Google Nest comes with stickers. You can grab those stickers out of this box and label them before you do any uninstall of your old thermostat just label those wires so you know that they match w with the w y with the y g with the g r with the r and on and on and so forth once you take your picture label your wires if you feel good if you feel like you need to do that get everything kind of you know so you're not going to lose anything and then depending on what kind of thermostat you have um, it may have push downs pull the wire out it may have screws you'll you'll need to assess that situation maybe you need a little Phillips head screwdriver get that take uh, loosen the wires get all the wires loosened and in the middle and then take your screwdriver or your screw gun and pull out the screws that hold your old thermostat together and pull that out and just set it aside now you're ready to start installing your brand new Nest thermostat. Maybe you got it for Christmas, maybe you bought it for yourself, but you're gonna love it. So grab the base plate. It's the, the one with the little wires, wire holes on the end. And then carefully put the wires through the center. And then you'll see there's a little leveler. All Nest thermostats, no matter which one you get, have a little leveler on the back. You just want to make sure that bubble is right in the middle or close to the middle. And then take your screw and just kind of mark it. Kind of just press into the sheetrock a little bit on the bottom and top. And that way you'll know where you need to put your screws. Now sometimes if you have a really good screw gun, you can go ahead and just push that in and screw it in. Depending on if it's a stud or if it's just sheetrock. Um, I like to get mine started a little bit. Uh, unless, unless it is easy like that. That way, um, you know, I can hold it up, level it, and then drill them in. You don't want it to be super tight. You don't want it to be like shoving into the wall. You just want it snug. And if you if you see the bubble, move it all. Just unscrew it a little bit, shift it, screw it back in. Super, super easy. Most people recommend not using a screw gun because it can get really tight. You can even crack it if you're, 
if you're not know if you don't know how to use a screw gun and it's set to too high. So now that you've got your screws in and your 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 base is secure to your brand new Nest Wi-Fi, now you want to start taking the cables and you want to organize them. Now if they're the right colors or you've labeled them, whatever it may be, remember red is power or whatever yours is as marked as R is power so keep it separate from all the other wires especially if you did not turn off the uh, the breaker I never do it's very low voltage if you have a high voltage thermostat you may want to turn the power off but I never do because it's just it's, as long as you're careful it's not going to do any damage but disclaimer Google Nest and Google products recommend that you do turn off the breaker so keep the red separate and then just kind of you know get your whites your blues your greens your yellow all situated and then you can use a screwdriver or your finger depending on what's easier for you and just start squeezing down and pushing that wire in as far in as it'll go and make sure that it stays down the little tab stays down so it's locked in there tight you just need to do that for each one and because the new Nest thermostat has batteries on the back, you don't have a lot of room to leave wires just kind of everywhere. So you need to make sure that in that little casing where your wires are set, that they either go inside the hole or they're you know pressed down, they're out of the way, so that the new Nest can sit comfortably and click in when you're ready for that to happen. Now, a side note, if you open up Google um, Home App and you, you add a new device, and you scan the barcode on the back of this, on the back of this, um, it will walk you through all these steps seamlessly. It'll tell you what do you have, when to turn off stuff, when to connect stuff. It'll even tell you, like I do, to take a picture of your old thermostat. So if you're not getting what you need from this video, remember that there is a step-by-step -step walkthrough in the app showing you how to set this up. And they do a really good job of that. And um, so just be, you might want to, this video might help you and then you might want to do that too. Whatever is easiest for you and makes you feel the most comfortable doing this. It's a super simple thing, but some people feel like because it's electronic or it's a smart technology or connected home device or IoT device that it, those big words start feeling like, oh, this is a big deal. But truthfully, it really should take you like 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes at max to install this. I mean, it's just really about taking the picture, pulling the wires out, unscrewing it, screwing it in, putting the wires together, popping it in, turning on your Google um, Home app, and installing it, setting it all up, configuring your Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff, which is really easy, simple. It just walks you right through it. So now that you have your wires all situated, you have the right wires. If any of these wires look weird to you, remember down in the description below, and all my install videos, there is a link to pictures, there's information about all the colors and where they should go because I know every home is different and around the country and around the world, there's different things going on um, for your region. I'm in Texas, so I have a forced air unit and I have a gas heat, heat unit that's forced air and I don't have like a sub pump or any kind of thing like that. The fan runs normally. But I know a lot of you in the comments from the other videos have said a lot of things. So I just want to remind you, always look down in the description right below the video and it will help you out. And of course, I will answer anything I can in the comments. So be sure and do that. And hit that subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, become part of the Zacchaeus family. We'd love to have you become a part of the family. It's free to do so. Cancel at any time. You'll get great videos like this. And that's just a little plug right here in the middle. So once you have all your wires set and base set, it's time to pull the little strip out from the battery that activates the battery and it um, gets it going. So you just pull it out. It's just a simple little jerk and throw that away, discard it. And then take your face and click it in. It should click in tight. You should hear it. You don't want to push it too hard, but just you should hear it like snap in place. It's going to, you know, fully click and be flush. It should be flush. So once you do that, you should see the screen, you know, the screen's going to start doing stuff as soon as you pull the battery out, but you should start seeing the screen do some more. I, there's a plastic piece that comes on it that I left on it until the last minute just to protect the face because it's very nice. It's very uh, chic looking, very 
elevated looking. And then I started the app stuff. Um, you go into the Google Home app or your Nest app and add a new product. It'll ask you to scan the barcode um, most of the time or with the Google Home app, it'll just start looking for new devices and you know, pick thermostat and it'll it'll say, okay, we found this new Nest thermostat and it'll start setting up your Wi-Fi and asking what you want to name it, all that great stuff. And it's really simple, really easy. And then the great thing is it'll even ask you like, the new thing it'll ask you like what do you like your temperature at mostly what do you like it at when you sleep you don't even have to go in and like really fool with the schedule as long as you know you want it this certain temperature during the day and this certain temperature at night and it'll ask you for your eco settings eco settings are when you're away it just clicks up to a little higher temperatures and saves you some money there and then once you get that set up you're good to go and you can start playing with the temperature you know on the side you can adjust it to be cooling or heating or cooling and heating depending on what time of year you're in. Uh, sometimes in weird se seasons like fall and spring, um, you're kind of in between. So sometimes you need the air on, sometimes you need the heat on. And just so they have that great feature. And then of course, if you want to custom schedule everything, you can custom schedule, you know, every time of the day or certain times of the day, whatever works for you to have it cool down or you know stop cooling or heat up or not heat up, all that great stuff. That's what's beautiful about a smart thermostat. And the Nest I've used for probably five years now, they are just so easy to use. I've tried the Echo B, I've got a video on that. You can see that video. And I've tried um, Honeywell's, I've tried some other ones like Sigby. And I just came back to the Nest because it's just so elegant so simple it's so easy to control with my google um, home products or with my app um even my google hub my displays that are on my desk or in my kitchen just really quickly can control them and of course it's easy just to walk over to them and control them a lot of the other ones have these big fancy screens but it's difficult to figure out how to even turn the air down or to get it to turn down you have to keep running your finger down the echo v until it figures out where you want it to be at and so i think nest has and Google have thought about that and done the research and asked customers what they want. And they've just made it super simple. You basically can just slide your finger up or down and you're good to go. I hope this video helps you. I hope it makes you feel more comfortable installing your brand new Nest Thermostat. Congratulations, by the way, on it. Let me know what color you got, what color you like. Um, I love seeing this new product. I love seeing that it's cheaper, but still elegant and still classy looking. Um, I'm very excited about it. I'm excited that it's working now in my home. Um, it was super simple to install and uh, I hope it was super simple for you. If you have any issues, just comment below and I'll try to help you out. And I will catch you guys in the next Zacchaeus video. Peace.